Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. This time we're headed to Killeen, Texas. Killeen is in Bell County, has a population of about 150,000 people, which makes it the 19th largest city in the state of Texas. Killeen is best known as being directly adjacent to Fort Hood, one of the largest army bases in the United States. In fact, its economy depends on the activities, activities of the post and the soldiers and their families stationed there. It's known as a military boomtown because of its rapid growth and high influx of soldiers. So we wander around Killeen, Texas. Let's take a look at the history and some of the events that have happened in this city over the years. In 1881, the Gulf, Colorado and Santa Fe Railroad extended its tracks through central Texas. The railroad platted a 70-block town on its land and named it after Frank P. Killeen, the assistant general manager of the railroad. By the next year, the town included a railroad depot, a saloon, several stores, and a school. Many of the residents of the surrounding smaller communities in the area moved to Killeen. By 1884, the town had grown to include about 350 people, served by five general stores, two grist mills, two cotton gins, two saloons, a lumber yard, a blacksmith shop, and a hotel. Killeen expanded as it became an important shipping point for cotton, wool, and grain in western Bell and eastern Coryell counties. By 1900, its population had grown to about 780 people. Around 1905, local politicians and businessmen convinced the Texas legislature to build bridges over Cowhouse Creek and other streams, doubling Killeen's, Killeen's trade area. A public water system began operation in 1914 and its population had increased to over 1,300 residents. Until the 1940s, Killeen remained a relatively small and isolated farm trade center. But with the buildup associated with World War II, that changed dramatically. In 1942, Camp Hood, which was recommissioned as Fort Hood in 1950, was created as a military training post to meet war demands. Laborers, construction workers, contractors, soldiers, and their families moved into the area by the thousands and Killeen became a military boomtown. The opening of Camp Hood radically altered the nature of the local economy since the sprawling new military post covered almost half of Killeen's farm, farming trade area. The loss of more than 300 farms and ranches led to the demise of Killeen's cotton gins and other farm-related businesses. But new businesses were starting to provide services for the military camp. Killeen suffered a, a recession when Camp Hood was all but abandoned at the end of the Second World War, but when Southern congressmen got it established again in 1950 as a permanent army post, the city once again boomed. Its population increased from about 1,300 in 1949 to over 7,000 in 1950, and between 1950 and 1951, about 100 new buildings were constructed here in downtown Killeen. In addition to shaping local economic development after 1950, the military presence at Fort Hood also changed the city's racial, religious, and ethnic composition. Previous to 1950, no blacks lived in the city, for example. But by the early 1950s, Marlboro Heights, an all-black subdivision, had been developed. In 1956, the city school board voted to integrate the local high school and the city's first resident Catholic priest was assigned to the St. Joseph Parish in 1954, about the same time new Presbyterian and Episcopal churches were being built.
By the 1970s, Killeen had developed into a city of over 35,000 inhabitants and had added a municipal, municipal airport, a new library, and a junior college, which is now called Central Texas College. By 2000, the city census listed Colleen's population at 86,000, and by 2010, it had grown to over 127,000, making it one of the fastest growing areas in the nation.
I hope you've enjoyed this walk through Killeen, Texas. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next walk. Take care now. Bye.